Hey Frogheads and Fragrance Lovers, welcome back. It's Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Shell chatting about another new fragrance brand for y'all. This is the house of three-in-one fragrances. These are extra day parfums. These were sent to me generously from the brand. Wanted to see my thoughts and wanted to see if I would give them a little, a little video. And of course, I was happy to oblige them and try out these fragrances and see what they were all about. So first off, um, these fra some of them are clones. Uh, uh, a little bit, this is Black Smoke here. It's from Black Phantom. Honestly, this one is a little bit more well blended. It's a little bit more sweet, but it's actually a little bit better, almost composed, well-rounded, maybe even richer than Black Phantom. And y'all are going to be surprised. For the money, for the value, I actually like Black Smoke better than Black Phantom. I do. I don't know why. It makes me feel bad. It makes me feel like I'm I'm saying I'm doing a naughty thing. I'm doing something bad. But uh, the quality off this, guys, is actually nice. It almost has some nuttiness. It has that dark patchouli. It has the vetiver and the dry down. Uh, again, everybody, when they talk about Black Phantom, seems to talk about uh, the caramel and the chocolate and maybe some of the smoke. But uh, to me, the fragrance is really in the dry down about the vetiver. And this one really gives you, instead of vetiver, it gives you nuttiness. And um, it just smells almost better for what it is, especially for the price. So uh, Black Smoke, highly recommended. Certainly my favorite from the house. Uh, but there are some other solid ones here as well. Uh, we got uh, Dior Homme Parfum. I actually tried this one a lot. I think that it comes very close to the original. I don't think it's, a, it's, a, it's an intense or it's as rich or it's not as buttery as the almost the original. But it's a solid fragrance. It's nice. It's uh, a Dior Homme Parfum is very hard to get right now. This is a this is one of the ones that's actually a clone. And this one might be actually respectable to get into. Um, if it's really hard for you to get it, I actually want a bottle of Dior Homme Parfum. But I'm not going to pay 250 bucks for it. And it's hard to get. It's a nice fragrance. And I've always thought Dior was a little bit too expensive for what it was. And now the prices are higher, even higher. You used to be able to get a bottle for about 150 uh, But now it's about 250 And you have to get it shipped and all that business. So... Anyways, this one's not as good as the original, but can it get you by? Yes, this is actually a little bit more versatile. You could probably wear this a little bit easier in everyday situations. Maybe indoors in the summer, you could get away with this one a little bit easier. Uh, because the original Dior Homme Parfum is almost like a winter exclusive fragrance because it's so strong. And uh, so, almost because it's so potent. Uh, but uh, solid fragrance nonetheless. The next one here is called Amouage Beach Hut. This is another one that's a clone. Um, I thought it was a fine, the fine, but I don't think this one is very close to me. I get a little bit more of a citronella, almost that, uh, almost more of like a, a lemon type of vibe. It does have vetiver. It, uh, if you're not familiar with Beach Hut Man by Amouage, yeah, a lot of people, especially like who like that dry, airy, uh, hay-like vetiver. Um, it's actually a fragrance that a lot of gentlemen out there love, and uh, Beach Hut Man's quite respectable. This one here has a little bit more lemon to it. Uh, to me, it smells a little bit more grassy instead of vetiver -y. and it's not a bad fragrance. It's just, I don't know, I, I wasn't terribly excited about the original. This one doesn't excite me either. Honestly, for the money and for what you're getting, I might like this one a little bit more, but I, I still, I do like and respect the House of Amouage. But honestly, it's not it's not my favorite thing in the world. Um, actually, the uh, little dog here got a hold of this one. And uh, I really don't have any left. I don't know if you can see the top. The dog got to this one. And <laughs> this was uh, LV Afternoon Swim. It actually was a really nice fragrance. It reminded me of Vanilla Vibes uh, from uh, Juliet Has a Gun. And uh, so it's very lemony. It has almost a synth synthetic freshness to it. And it has a really playful vanilla in the background. So really nice fragrance. It might remind you of things like uh, Chanel Allure Aube de Chambon Blanche. It might do that for you. And uh, this is actually a really nice fragrance, guys. I like how this fragrance comes together. I like the quality. I like the blend. Uh, it's, again, this is kind of a clone house, so it's not the most natural. But for what you're getting for the quality coming out of this juice, actually was kind of impressed with the quality i was expecting really bad quality and not only is it not bad but actually smells pretty darn good so not i was just surprised about that one the last one is called fresh fade i'm gonna spray this one on my jacket here to test it for y'all but i actually didn't get this fragrance uh i didn't like really like it but i want to test it up i want to give it one last chance for you guys nope still doesn't work for me uh, get, to me it smells a little bit more like a hemp a type of fragrance if you know what I'm talking about it's um it has a little bit of sourness a little bit of ruggedness um, almost like an aquatic almost like a slightly green fragrance and again 
I usually don't like that kind of vibe. I don't want to smell like that. And uh, it's, it's not that I really dislike uh, that practice or people doing that. Of course, if it's legal in your state or if that's acceptable to you, do whatever you want. But I, uh, where I live, it's not really acceptable. And if you try to go into work smelling like that, if you try to go into public, even, you know, a lot of bad things can happen. So this is not a fragrance that I would really go for, that I would really recommend. Uh, but for some people, it's going to be rebellious. It's going to be different. And it, it again, some people do like fresh uh, green like aquatics or herbaceous aquatics. And uh, this might be something that you're interested in. I'm, I'm usually not into uh, herbaceous, uh, you know, oak mossy uh, citrus aquatics usually anyways. Uh, so this is not my thing, but uh, it could work for you. Anyways, guys, 3-in-1 was generous to me, and they surprised me. Uh, this this little fragrance here, Black Smoke, has made it so I will probably never buy Black Phantom. Actually, I wasn't really intending on buying it anyways, but I'm really not now. I'll see everybody. Have a beautiful day. Clone houses help you save some money. Uh, clone houses can work. Uh, you know, some people think that they're unethical. I'm not getting into that, but I'm putting it out here for the people who do want to save a buck and uh, do want to explore the world of clones and the world of fragrance on a budget and get very close, very similar uh, to the original smell for a lot less money. It, you know, clones might be your thing. So really nice house, three in one, probably worth checking out and uh, surprised at what they did, surprised at what they were able to pull out of the bag on me. So uh, I'll see everybody next time. Have a beautiful day. Wear what you love. If you stuck by to the end of this video, you probably like my content. So why not help me out? Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video, and tell a friend. I'll see you next time, everybody. Wear what you love, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, and bye.